Good morning. I'm Lisa Mateo. Another morning of light rain, dense fog. We'll have more on this coming right up. And good morning, everybody. Marissa Torres here in the traffic center, waking up to a couple of construction stops. With another great day, but I have decided that Friday yes. should also be let's give love to Lisa Mateo Day because we've been giving her all I kinds know. of uh, grief. So much grief. Really so much grief. But we love you. Thank you, thank you. The sun will come out later on today. It's just we got to get through the morning time. Similar to yesterday, but yesterday we were stuck more in the clouds. Today it'll be a little bit different. We'll have some sunshine earlier. 58 is not a bad start. 60 degrees already for places up north out in the island. We have the uh, mid to upper 50s right now. Live radar, we just have some light showers making their way through for today. We told you about it yesterday. Just a front coming through. There is on Long Island right now, parts of the Jersey Shore, uh, down in South Jersey, uh, Monmouth, Ocean County. You're seeing some light showers right now. So so the system will continue to push through for today, but the good news is that it's coming early and it will end earlier for today. So unlike yesterday when we were stuck in the clouds, today about 11 a.m. you could already see we'll see some sunshine here in the city and temperatures much better than yesterday. Getting up to 79 degrees, near 80 degrees. Interior sections will hit that 80 degree mark. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a bit. For now, let's head over to Marissa to get a check of your roadways. Marissa. All right, Lisa. It is nice and early on a Friday morning. Just a couple of issues out there. and We'll go ahead and start off on the BQE East found the ramp to Hamilton Avenue. We do have a disabled vehicle. Not causing much of a delay miles an hour so we still have that wind off the water right now and that's a one of the reasons causing some of these issues this morning temperatures like we said mild poughkeepsie look at up north 60 degrees already i slip here in the upper 50 same for west hampton right now tom's river 62 degrees already for this time of the morning this is the issue we were talking about visibility newark down to half a mile new york city down to half a mile, New York City, down to a mile right now, LaGuardia, a quarter mile. JFK, Islip, not too bad right now, but you can't rule out the possibility you're driving in between some of these areas and you hit that pocket of foggy conditions. So just keep that in mind. Uh, keep your eyes peeled when you're headed out on the roadways this morning. This will start to burn off later on, but right now we still have the light showers starting to make their way through. It's this front that we talked about yesterday. A little wider picture, and you can see we have a little bit of more moisture to get through for today, but again, it will end early and we'll start to see some sunshine later on, and that's going to help bump up those temperatures today much better than yesterday, especially on the island. So on the island, what you'll have is you'll have the upper 70s. We have an east wind now, but that will change more to a westerly wind, and that's going to help out because you don't have the wind off the water for later on. The only problem is you're going to be stuck in the clouds for a little bit longer out for areas of Long Island. You won't see as much sunshine when you get temperatures into the 70s. But you start to get areas up north further inland. Look at this. Newburgh hitting 80 degrees. West Point, 82. Florida, 81, because you'll see more in the way of sunshine for these areas. And same goes into New Jersey. Will you hit the 80s for a look at this. Flemington 83, Hopewell 83, where it's going to feel more like summer as you get more in the way of sunshine and the skies start to clear today. East Brunswick 84 and Freehold 83 degrees. Not bad. All right, so here you go. We have the clouds and then you get the peaks of sunshine and any bit of sunshine this time of the year. Remember, it's that, that high sun angle will start to spike those temperatures. Just like yesterday, we were stuck in the 60s and then we got that little peak of sunshine in the city and that helped those temperatures get up to the 70 degree mark. Today, 79 degrees. We are almost near that 80 degree mark for the city. We'll have have much more though coming up in just a bit and take a look into our weekend for now let's head over to marissa torres and get a check of your roadways how's it looking out there marissa uh it's looking good actually not as 19. oh look at that smell then i like the outdoor patio on the mm -hmm. top deck oh that's really nice you, that's what you can use for today you can get outside enjoy lunch outside because we have one of those great days the morning time is gonna be a little tough we still have that patchy dense fog for the morning rush uh similar to yesterday but today we'll start to burn off and it'll feel much better out by later on this afternoon saturday speaking of feeling better it'll feel like summer we have temperatures into the 80s, so it's going to feel incredible out there. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds. And then we are back to those spring-like temperatures on Sundays. We drop about 20 degrees just about from Saturday to Sunday. All right, so the temperatures right now, not too bad. We have 58 degrees. Look at up north. Poughkeepsie, you're already at 60. Toms River, you're already at 62. Islip in the upper 50s. West Hampton in the mid-50s right now. So what we do have, we had the light rain this morning. It's already starting to make its way through around the area into parts of New Jersey, now making its way onto Long Island. It's a front coming through, so we still have this together for today but behind it we do have high pressure and that's going to help bump up those temperatures and bring us the sunshine for later on this afternoon and then for saturday it's going to help bump up those temperatures as well so taking it through this morning it's by nine o'clock we're already starting to clear out for parts of new jersey and new york city but what happens at noon time you still have the clouds sticking around for parts of coastal uh, long island uh, you can see that there parts of the jersey shore as well going through even through five o'clock so long you're still going to be stuck in the clouds just a bit and that's going to affect your temperatures you won't get into that 80 degree temperatures which parts of new jersey and inland section and part areas north will as we start to move to saturday 5 a.m you can see not too bad we'll have a mix of sunny clouds temperatures soaring into the 80s so we have that summer like feel for saturday but what happens saturday evening you can see we do a front starting to push its way down so you have a few clouds maybe a spot shower but that really hangs in 
until Sunday. Sunday, 5 a.m. is where you start the clouds, you'll have the showers that'll come through for Sunday, and you'll have the Columbus Tuesday from Monday into Tuesday. That's when that front does pass through, and that's when you have those showers to deal with. Flurry out by Wednesday. All right, let's head over to Marissa Torres right now and see how things are. Check out your roads, your rails, Marissa Torres. Now, I wanted a little bit better, so what we've been dealing with, you know, we've been stuck in the clouds, this means we've been dealing with a lot of rain. Uh, this morning, things.